Solid Stark Dragon here, bringing you guys, I guess, this little end to the road of Black Ops 4 little mini-series this kind of turned into. And I'm going to go ahead and talk about my history of Black Ops 3 and my favorite moments. And honestly, my favorite moments with Black Ops 3, there's a lot of them, but I'd have to say, <clears throat> pardon me, um, Black Ops 3 is where a lot of my friendships on Xbox kind of flourished and bloomed see because um, like I said last episode I tried to make a clan back in Black Ops 2 well I repeated the process in um, in uh, Advanced Warfare and we actually took uh, part in a lot of the clan wars well at the end of it all you know a lot of the clan f did end up falling apart but a lot of us stuck together and in in us sticking together I made a lot of great you know, lifetime, oh, hopefully lifetime friends, and I, you know, I kind of want to give them their dues, so I mean, th there's a lot of them help me with videos, or even have their own channels, or don't really do much anymore, because they can't, and I just want to go ahead and give, oh, I'm not used to the jumping, I want to go ahead and just give a shout out to those guys, and um, the, one of the first friends that I met um, through all of this was a personal friend, and we became really close. And his name is uh, Raw Frustration or E Unleashed. We spent um, pretty much the whole Black Ops 3 release date party uh, um, together, and we and we became really good friends through it. And he he kind of went his own way with the uh, falling in love with zombies, as I fell in love with the multiplayer. And I mean, he ended up surpassing me in every way, but. You know, it was it was not uncommon to find us playing together and just having a blast with another good guy who helps me out with videos a lot, and that would be uh, Tyler or Genesis Mutation or in some of the older videos, uh, Killer Gamer or something or other. Um, he helps me out a lot, and he was actually in the Advanced Warfare Clan and he stuck around, and a lot of our fun memories are in zombies and playing multiplayer and pretty much just making fun of his laggy internet you know just having a good old time um i wouldn't trade these guys for the world another one um that i'm am still friends with today is shadowfang 727 um you should follow him on twitch he twitches a lot of uh overwatch and uh what is it uh ah, that wizard game on the computer wizard 101 he does a lot of that um but he, he's really trying to get into streaming and he wants to be an affiliate and you know that's what he wants to do and he's following his passions and I would love if you guys went and helped him out but all of these guys we all were just a team all of us there's also my buddy um, uh, Glorious Poop I know that's a funny ass name he's a good buddy of mine and I'm also just like E Unleashed or Raw Frustration we know him in real life, and we all went to high school together, and I mean, we're, we're just all buddies to the end, and we all just kind of went our separate ways, and I'm hoping now that Black Ops 4 comes out, we all kind of maybe can join back, and we get back to the days, but man, Black Ops 3, it was, it was just, that was the heyday, man, that was when all of us... You can catch us all. I wasn't a big fan of the jumping, but the clan, it, it went from being a serious clan to a close group, close-knit group of friends, and boy, was it just the, the bee's knees, in my opinion. Oh, what? 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 <laughs> but uh, I'm excited for Black Ops 4, and I'm excited to make more memories. I tried to make this series um, bringing all the fun memories I had with Black Ops. With uh, Black Ops 1 being my first Call of Duty, where I took it serious to um, where I met, and then Black Ops 2 being where I tried to do a clan and failed, but you know, all the fun memories and stuff. And, and then um, Black Ops 3 is kind of the success story where, I mean, even to this day, we don't really. We don't really call ourselves a clan, but, uh, I mean, we pretty much are, honestly. I mean, we're a close-knit group of friends who play together, 
and not as often anymore because everybody's just busy but who knows you you know you never know but I these these are just some good friends and I, I just wanted to add them because I couldn't tell my black ops history I couldn't tell my call of duty black ops history without uh, bringing them into it because they're a huge part of it because they've helped me with streams they've helped me with all kinds of it and they're honestly they're my greatest memory of black ops 3 it's not the guns it's not anything it's just the friends and the fun times that I've had and I know that sounds very similar to black ops 2 but it, it kind of opened my eyes um, with uh, black ops 3 of how how a friendship can blossom with people you've never actually god damn it with people you've never actually met because in black, when, I, when I talked about black ops 2 um, you should check that video out on the channel too um, uh, when I talked about Black Ops 2, it was a lot of my real life friends trying to come together and, you know, th th this is a lot of people, you know, who aren't here in real life and they're just as, they, they feel just as close to me as if they were and, and, and it's amazing how many years we've played, um, going on four years now together I believe and well, pretty much ever since Advanced Warfare so whenever that is three four years and we still talk to each other almost every day even if we don't play the same game uh, and it, it's just mind-blowing how close you can feel to somebody and I and you know a lot of you are probably just saying like oh you know they're online buddies blah 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 but you know, there, there's a point to where you can get as close as you can get with online buddies, but I don't know. You just you you play with somebody for so many years. It's it's pretty crazy, but yeah, th that's pretty much my my most fond memory is uh, let's see, my most fond memory of them, uh, let's see of uh, Genesis Mutation. It's just all the times he he doesn't have the best internet, and I understand not everybody can afford fucking creme de la creme internet you know but it just it always just seemed to mess up for him on black ops 3 and, and we'd all just give him the utmost crap over it i mean the poor guy there's nothing he could do about it and it was almost to the point sometimes his internet would mess up he would just not want to play especially during zombies i just know how he gets so frustrated and it, it just it made me smile every time and then with uh, raw frustration, it was just his little quirks. He was kind of a weird guy, but he was like a good weird, if that made sense. Like, and he would do these little quirks and things, and every time he did it, or he'd say these phrases, um, you just have to smile, you know, like uh, like touche or touche, you know, it's like that's stuck on so so. Uh, and I, no, I'm not saying douche. I'm saying touche or touche. But uh, it just kind of stuck on, and just some of those weird little quirks. And like we had a buddy named um, Anthony, and he would be like, Anthony, and he just uh, he would just make everybody laugh. And Shadow, he was just Shadow. He's just such a good guy. He was he always had an ear. He still does to this day. He always. Um, my favorite thing with him is uh, one day he uh, we were playing Black Ops 3 Zombies trying to do the Easter egg and Shadow he's not the best Zombies player and we were so close and he just killed it for us and I just remember I just told him what I thought and I mean it, it wasn't anything super bad and like I said we're all still friends to this day but in the moment it just felt like a devastating blow but looking back at it now it was just such a fond memory I remember all the time all of us getting together in a party and just partying up and either getting our ass whooped or whooping some ass but at the end of the day it was always a good time smiles and laughs and that's why Black Ops 3 um, it's very fond in my heart. And that's why the whole Black Ops series is fond in my heart. Started with it, and um, I'm going to end with it. I mean, I don't really... As of right now, plans do change. You know, maybe if the channel takes off, uh, things will change. But right now, I am not planning on... 
um, ending my Call of Duty career with Black Ops 4. Um, but you never know, things can change. If the channel takes off and everybody wants to see more COD commentaries, I gotta keep up to date. But other than that, that's just it. My, my favorite memories of Black Ops 3 is uh, my friends. And all of the fun memories we have, picking on each other and calling each other names and some of it, a lot of, a lot of it, more inappropriate for this, not too appropriate for this video. But if any of you guys see this video, let me know. Um, we should all play again in Black Ops 4. And hopefully we'll just make more memories like the old days. As well as uh, we'll do one more video. Um... And then it'll be the big day, Black Ops 4. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Social media links down in the description below. Um, follow them, Facebook and Twitter. That way you'll never have a, a reason to uh, miss a video. As well as subscribe and hit the bell. And that way, with all three of those done, you will have no reason to miss a video whatsoever. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, the video before the Black Ops 4 release.